Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, and this is a video a lot of you guys have requested me to do with the imminent release of AMD's Ryzen CPUs. A lot of you guys have asked me to talk about it and what I think the impact of these CPUs will be on the market, and obviously this is going to be a big turning point for the entire economics of everything PC related, depending on how these CPUs do, how they perform, not necessarily performance wise, but actually perform in terms of a commercial level. It's going to change the landscape of just not the PC gaming seen the entire PC scene as a whole. It's literally been years of buildup for these CPUs to release, and the actual launch of these products will happen on March 2nd, I believe that falls on a Thursday. So yeah, it's a very exciting time if you're into the PC world. And for those of you that don't know, the three CPUs that AMD is releasing are the Ryzen 7 1800X, that's got 8 cores and 16 threads, 3.6 gigahertz base clock, and a 4.0 gigahertz turbo clock, TDP of 95 watts, and it'll be releasing at $500 MSRP. P. Then you have the 7-1700X, once again 8 cores, 16 threads, 3.4 gigahertz base clock, 3.8 turbo, 95 watts TDP, that's going to be releasing for $399. And then there's the Ryzen 7 1700, that's 8 cores, 16 threads, 3.0 gigahertz base clock, 3.7 turbo, TDP of 65 watts, $330. Now all of those prices are MSRP, chances are these CPUs are going to be very hot commodities, at least initially, whenever something of this caliber releases. At the absolute very least it'll be the flavor of the month and everybody will jump on it initially and stock will be limited and that'll probably drive the prices of all of these way up so if you want to definitely get one of these cpus i would suggest either pre-ordering it i believe some sites have pre-orders open or have eyes on the back of your head come march 2nd because they're gonna go very fast now personally out of these cpus the cpu that i'm the most interested in is the ryzen 7 1700 because that is the cpu that's gonna compete with the 7700 and yeah the other two cpus the 1700x and the 18 100X, I'm sure they'll be very nice CPUs. The benchmarks we've seen thus far have pointed them to be extremely powerful. However, at those price ranges, $400 and $500, as you guys know, I like to cover everything more on the budget side of things. 330, in my opinion, is still a very expensive CPU. I mean, I'm still rocking an i5, so the 1700 is far above what I have. But with the very least, 330 is at least acceptable and something you can fit into at least a somewhat budget-oriented build. Even then, what I'm the most interested in is the lower tier CPU. CPUs. AMD is first introducing all of these high-end CPUs, and that's fine. Obviously, the enthusiasts are going to be the people that are going to jump on board with these CPUs right away. But in reality, what I'm curious about is how these CPUs are going to pertain to gaming PCs and how people build their PCs. And like I said, I like to stray on the side of budget building PCs and even a $1,700, $330. That's just going to be very expensive. But the main reason why people should be excited about these CPUs coming out, even if you're Intel for life, all that garbage, which I don't know how you can swear allegiance to a company that at the end of the day their primary goal is to make money off of you but nonetheless the most exciting thing about Ryzen is that hopefully this pushes Intel to do something that benefits the consumers which at the end of the day that's all that I care about AMD Intel they're just businesses that want to make money the release of Ryzen is going to bring forth more competition and for anybody that knows the basics of business for the consumer which the majority of you are unless somehow you have a job with Nvidia or AMD or you're in that business but chances are you're not all you should be caring about is getting the best bang for your buck and seeing everything that benefits you improve across the board and with the release of Ryzen hopefully that happens. Now if nobody buys these CPUs then that's going to be an issue and while we've seen that performance of these CPUs are very strong as I feel like I'm one of the few that always brings back to this that marketing is crucial and it's not just about the CPU performance it's about actually becoming established and having people know your name and know that you're bringing out quality products. Obviously that takes time because I still feel like AMD has that negative state Sigma. Even with their video cards, I feel like their video cards are absolutely insane right now. Like if you're talking dollar for dollar and you compare them to Nvidia, especially on the lower end scale, AMD's GPU value is just absolutely insane. But even then, from my anecdotal experience, I just noticed people hitting me up constantly about Nvidia GPUs rather than AMD GPUs. And I think that pertains to AMD having this negative stigma. And that always takes time to break. And I do feel like AMD has broken that to some degree on the GPU market. I see much more people talking about AMD GPUs now than like a year ago. And I really contribute a big part of that to the RX 480. That GPU, in my opinion, has done wonders for 
AMD in the GPU scene. Again, I don't have official numbers or anything, but from my anecdotal experience, ever since that GPU's come out and they've been readily available, I just see a lot more people hitting me up about AMD GPUs in numbers that are comparable to NVIDIA GPUs, which that wasn't the case in the past. And hopefully with these Ryzen CPUs, the same thing happens there, because obviously nobody is looking at buying an AMD CPU now, because obviously nobody was really looking to buy AMD CPUs before. From my experience, people were always hitting me up about buying Intel CPUs, and that's so bad for the consumer because Intel can stagnate and they'd still be ahead, and stagnation is absolutely the worst thing that can happen in any form of business. At least that's the worst thing that can happen for the consumer. Again, these CPUs a little out of my pay grade, and I'm really interested to see what AMD brings out in the future because once they bring out CPUs that are priced a little bit cheaper, I understand why these CPUs are priced the way they are, don't get me wrong, but again, it just doesn't make sense for me to pick them up currently. I know a lot of you guys might be in a different situation, but yeah, I want to see them bring out a CPU that competes with a Core i5 and a CPU that really is great for the budget gamer because the majority of people are in that situation. So let me know what you guys think. I'm very excited for the release of these CPUs. I might end up picking up a 1700 and building a PC around that. We'll have to wait and see. I'm definitely not going to be an early adopter of these, which I know for a YouTuber is kind of lame, but it is what it is. If you guys are picking any of these up, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you disagree with anything I say in this video, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always down to engage in intelligent conversations, and it seems like most of you guys are capable of that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can also leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.